Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I am in my bedroom with no makeup on because I thought that I would do a little get ready with me kind of a thing while I use some products from a company called Woosh Beauty. Now I first found these guys in a Vine O box and they sent, it, it was like a full face palette, it was really cool and after I did that video Woosh reached out to me and sent me a bunch more of their products. One of the cool things about this brand is that their stuff is geared toward making your life easier. The fold out face palette has all you need to do your full face. They have a lot of innovative products to make things easier, etc. So anyway, let me just show you some of the things that they sent me as I go ahead and put on my makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I was talking about, this is the fold out face palette and they have several different colors. This one is number three medium, which um, when I first got it, it was perfect for me, but I'm a little bit more pale, so we'll see, but I think it'll work. So you can see in this palette, you've got some eyeshadows, concealer, highlighter, contour type colors, some blush, a highlighter, and some face powders that could also be used, you know, as bronzer types. And then they sent me a bunch of lip glosses, a mascara, and some interesting brushes that I'm gonna show you. And then this, which I thought was so adorable. Look at this, it's a little travel bag, and inside Inside, this is so cute. We have some fuzzy socks that say Woosh Beauty and they have the little, you know, sticky things on the bottom. I love fuzzy socks. There's some earplugs, bright pink, love it. We have some mints, pink and white, in a little thing. Um, this is one of their glosses. Another gloss in a different shade and then a little eye mask thing that says I'm asleep whoosh beauty isn't that so cute I just thought this was the most adorable little travel bag so anyway I thought that that was an amazing little travel thing I may actually use all of this stuff uh, this summer we're thinking about going to Europe which will be fun and that is a long plane ride so I'm excited to have this my hair's down for once in my life so I'm gonna put it back with a little headband that I've borrowed from my daughter. Isn't this cute? My friend Anna made this. She makes the cutest little things and sells them on Etsy. So this is the one that I got in my Vine O, and then they sent me another one, the same shade, but this one actually came with a secret brush set. Let me show you the brush, because it's really cool. I'm telling you, a lot of their stuff is really innovative. Okay, so this is the brush, and you've got, sorry, cat hair. All right, so you have like a fluffy brush, which can be used for powder, blush, contour, bronzer, whatever. You have an angled, more dense brush, which can be used for foundation, or cream products, whatever. And then on the inside you have this rounded, it's fairly dense, um, you could use it for eyeshadow or like smudging out your liner, that sort of thing. And then on this side is also dense but a little more flat which you could use for eyeshadow, I guess you could use this for smudging out liner, you know, whatever, you could use it for your eyebrows, who knows. But isn't that cool? And you can just shove it back in here and then so you have a little bit more of a thing or flip it over this way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, use it on this end, whatever. I just thought that was really cool that it's, you know, four brushes in one. The perfect little travel brush. Another one of the brushes that they sent me, this one is so cool. On this, on this end, it's got this V, which is meant for like stamping on your outer V shadow. I've talked about doing that before where I basically like stamp on my outer V and then blend it out with a different brush. So this has that cool V shape to it though, which, which I think is so cool. And then this side is just an angled, you could use this as liner or for your brows. It's pretty big, so I like to use it more for my brows but you could absolutely use it as a liner brush as well. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this little flatter one, the number two brush, and I'm going to dip that into this concealer right here. And you can see there are two shades, so you can kind of mix and match. This one is definitely more peachy for coloring, covering up dark circles, um, but I'm gonna go with the lighter one just because I feel like my skin is looking fairly pale these days. And this color actually matches me really well, which is nice. Here, let me zoom you in. This concealer is very creamy. 
It goes on really nicely. Um, I've worn it several times and haven't had major issues with creasing or anything. It is a cream product though, so it's gonna be a bit thicker, so you just kind of have to be careful not to put too much. And it's one of those ones where I feel like the heat from your hand, if you have warm hands, which thankfully I do right now, <laughs> will help to kind of thin it out and press it into your skin and it just kind of blends a little bit better. Um, I mean, not that it doesn't work great with a brush or a sponge or whatever, but a little bit goes a long way with this one. You don't wanna cake it on because it will crease if you put too much on. So there we go, just a little bit of extra coverage. And then I'm gonna use this like around my nose. My nose is always red because I am allergic to my cats and I always have to blow my nose. And then it's always red up here from my glasses. <laughs> this is one of those areas on, my, on the bridge of my nose right here that I notice so much in my videos because Especially if I go from like putting on my makeup and then I'll wear my glasses for a while and then I take them off to do a video and I forget to touch that area up and it'll be like bright red and I just can't stop staring at it the whole video. It drives me insane. Okay, and then I have a couple spots that I'm gonna cover. Now I'm going to use this powder foundation and I am going to use the lighter color and I'll use this end of the brush. I usually do this with um, the fluffier side, but figure we'll try this side to get more coverage. Yeah, this color's working for me. If you really wanted to, you could use the concealer, you know, as more of a cream foundation, but I think the powder works really nicely. My skin is dry right now, so I'm a little nervous that this is gonna be too dry, but we'll see. Because it's not a super drying powder. When I'm traveling, I generally don't wear a lot of makeup anyway, and this is such a good compact thing. And in my daily, day-to-day, -day, everyday kind of a thing, I don't wear that much makeup. So I feel like this is so great for just like a little dusting of foundation, you know, when you're not going full out with it. Um, but it, it also has the ability to be more full coverage if you do use the denser brush more concealer, that sort of thing. And you could definitely do more of a dramatic eye look with these colors, because there is a darker brown and a black. Okay, and I'm gonna use this same brush and just use the darker, sh uh, the darker shadow, the darker shade face powder, um, just to do a little bit of contour and, uh, and bronzing. See, that works nicely. It's a nice color match. It's a little bit dark, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put it on with this and then blend it out with the other side because I don't want it to be too strong. There, see, and it blends out nicely. Poor Junie is homesick from school, so I don't know if you can hear her sniffling. <laughs> She's sitting on my bed while I'm doing this. Okay, and then I will use the fluffy end of this brush to do the blush. I think I'm gonna go with the middle one. It's more of a peachy color. These blushes are pretty pigmented. I wore, um, I wore one of them last night. We went out to dinner. And it looked fine at first, and then later when we got home, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, whoa, you have a lot of blush on. A little bit on the tip of my nose. And then I'm actually gonna use the same one and, do, and go into the highlighter right here. And I'm just gonna hit the tops of my cheeks with that. A little bit with my finger right here. And then these contour shades over here, I'm not gonna use them today because they're a little bit too intense for my skin tone right now, but they also make great eyeshadows, which is nice, you know, and these are good eyeshadow colors. In fact, this lighter one is very close to this eyeshadow up here. So I am going to start with this base color eyeshadow and put that all over my lids. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this darker contour color in my crease. Again, it is pigmented, so be careful. See, that blends out nicely and it does make a nice eyeshadow color. I mean, basically I'm contouring my eyes right now anyway, right? Putting it in the crease like this. It's making my eyes look a little bigger. And then I'm gonna use that flat brush again, the one that I used for my concealer. And I'm actually going to use this light shimmery eyeshadow color right here. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. The one thing this is missing is a mirror. Like if this had a mirror on it, that would be perfect. It's reflective, but not quite what I need. Now I'm going to switch, now I'm gonna flip this over and use the rounded edge and I'm gonna use this kind of sparkly brown color right here. And I'm basically just gonna go along my lash line with that. And then I'm also gonna take that same color under my eyes. 
Okay, now I'm gonna use that fun angled brush, this crazy looking thing in that same brown color. And I'm just basically dabbing it in there and I'm gonna stamp it right there. Uh, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of wiggling it around a bit, but I'm not gonna blend with this. That's so cool. But I'm gonna use this one to kind of blend that out. And then I'm gonna take the angled liner brush and I am gonna use it for liner. I'm using the black color in here, which is more of like a charcoal. It's not totally black. And I am gonna use that as a liner. Okay, so there's basically the face palette. And then I have some mascara. This mascara is really cool. Okay, so you have just your basic wand, right? It's a little bit curved, but then if you twist this, it gets really curved. Isn't that cool? Wonk, wonk. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's so cool. Okay, so let me put some mascara on. The formula on this mascara is Fine. It's not necessarily my favorite, but it is fine. I don't dislike it for any reason. Plus the wand is so much fun to play with. So for a more casual look, or if I'm gonna be wearing lashes, or you know, if you already have good lashes, but it is it is fine. It doesn't flake or smudge or do anything terrible like that, so. I don't have any of their brow things, so I'm actually going to use my brow powder from the Brow Gal, and I am gonna use this same liner brush, make sure I got most of the black off there, and I'm just gonna use this middle brown color to kinda fill in my brows a little bit here. I really do like this brush for my brows. I mean, it's good for eyeliner as well. It's just um, a little bit big, but it's nice and thin at least, so, it, you know, you can use it for whatever. I love multi-use tools like that. Oh, I forgot to use this funky little tool. This is for doing your mascara, or yeah, mascara. So you're gonna hold it like this. Here, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I have not yet mastered this tool. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's hard for me. Okay, so you put it over your eye like this, right? And then, ah, oh, I'm gonna stab myself in the eye so that you don't get mascara on your eyelid. I don't know, it's it's kind of difficult. And then you can use this one for doing the lower lashes, but I have a hard time with it. And then you also have this little comb here that you can comb out your lashes with if you need to. So, I don't know, kind of a cool, funky thing, especially if you, you know, have problems with that, getting mascara all over your eyelids might be a cool thing for you. Okay, and then the last thing that I have are a ton of lip glosses. So let me show you all the fun colors I have. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at all of these fun, fabulous colors. Okay, let's see which one should I wear today. Let's go with one of these darker, coppery colored ones. Okay, this, oh, this one is called Rich Copper. <laughs> okay, the fun thing about these is that the tip of it actually twists as you put it on. So it kind of rolls across your lips, which actually deposits a lot more lip gloss than, uh, than a normal thing. So you just kind of roll it across. Can you see it turning? And then you can kind of use the tip to get around the edges. Isn't that fun though, that it rolls? It's like a paint roller, and paint rollers get the most even coverage. This gloss is nice. It's um, a bit on the thick side, but I like that because I feel like that makes it stick around longer. It's also not super pigmented, which I don't like super pigmented glosses. I just, they're too messy for me, and especially if you have a thicker viscosity. I just, I don't know, I really like these. I think that they're really great. You know, I like the the amount of pigment. I like the way they feel. I like the way they go on. They're a lot of fun. And I love that there are so many fun colors. They're all fairly neutral shades, you'll notice. There's no like bright red or dark vampy purple or anything like that. So depending on your skin tone, your preference, whatever, you could go for whatever 
you know, these are all more of a neutral shade. Okay, so that's it. Those are my Woosh Beauty products that I have. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Aren't these fun products? I will leave all of the information in the description box with links to the website so you can check it out. I'm having a lot of fun with these. I think they're great. I think these will be perfect for travel and lightweight days. You know, if you want to like take them to work with you so that you can touch up throughout the day or maybe after the gym, whatever. It's fun stuff like that. I mean, how great is this cute compact all-in-one face palette and these lip glosses so fun all right well thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye